Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis and this is our React JS Material UI tutorial. And today we can talk about auto-complete component in Material UI. So I am going to cover below topics. First we can implement one basic auto-complete control. After that we can see some of the properties in auto-complete. So finally we can see how to assign and also how to get the values from our auto-complete component. Okay. Now let me go to my application. We can start our implementation one by one. First I am going to create one new component. We can provide the name as auto. It is just a JS file only. Here we can use this SFC stateless functional component option. And let me include this component in the routing side. Okay, this is fine. Now in our menu side, I am going to include one more menu. Auto complete. The two value is auto. Okay. So let me save this one and see the output. So we have the new menu, right? So when I am clicking this one, we currently we are in the auto complete page. So in our component, so let me include one h2 tag. Okay, the text is not showing because our menu is hiding. So what I'm going to do, so let me include one custom class. It's not a custom class, we are actually overriding. See now, so we are able to see the text type. So here I'm going to use the auto complete control. So it is belongs to our MUI material. Okay. So it is imported top of that. And here we have to use the render input. And it is having the data parameter. So inside that we can use one text field control okay. Okay this is also done. So let me save this one and we can see the current output. Okay we are able to see one text box and the next thing is we have to populate the data okay. For the data purpose I am going to have one static array. country so now we have one static array okay for adding the data we have one property the property is options okay so now we have added so next in our text field we have to pass this data okay And also we can include the label for the display purpose. So let me provide country. Okay, we are able to see our autocomplete control. But when I'm clicking this one, I'm getting the error. So the reason is uh, we have one array. So the fields are code, name and currency. But basically it is expecting the value as labeled. So that's what we are getting the error. So the label is nothing but what value we supposed to display. So what I'm going to do, let me provide this uh, name as label. Okay. So let me refresh the screen once again. So now see. 
we are able to see this India, USA and Singapore. So even though if I'm searching, it will work. India. So if I'm typing Singapore. Okay. So it will work. So our next question, obviously. So then if you are array don't have the label, what is the option? So we have one more option. Okay, so now this is our array. So let me save this one. I'm going to create one more object. Okay. So in this object, so the first one is options only. So here we can provide our country. So after that it is having one more property get optional label okay so here we can choose what field we are going to display here so actually we want to display our name only so let me save this one and the next thing is we can command these options So instead of that, we can use the props option. So let me save this one. See the response. See? Again, it is working. So in case if I want to display the code with the name. So what we supposed to do. See now, we are able to see with code and name, okay? So these are the basic steps. The next thing is we have to get the values from this drop down control, okay? So for that, we can use the on change event. So let me include this on change. And this having two properties. The first one is event and the second one is value. And here our function get data value. So let me save this one and also we have to define this function. So let me include this in the console. So if you noted in this console, initially we don't have any value. So once I'm choose to this one, see, we are able to get all the values, code and name and the currency. And if I'm choosing Singapore, see, again, I'm able to get the value. So once I'm having this object, obviously I can get the individual information. So like if I'm providing name, see, so the name is coming. And next we can discuss some of the properties for this autocomplete control. So let me make some alignment here. So after the due, I am going to use the grid control. So this grid we are going to use as the container. And the spacing 0. 
and the direction we can use as the column so finally align items okay so let me move everything into center so we can save this one so we can move all the items inside our grid okay the size also got reduced so let me include one st stack control also okay using this stack we can apply some styles okay this is fine so next we can apply some variance for our text field so let me provide standard see the output now so the box got removed so similarly let me copy this one I can duplicate this one so instead of the standard I am going to provide another variant filled see so we are able to see some uh, gray background so if you want to include some spacing we can include through from our stack itself see we have some space so similarly we have one more variant that is outlined so outlined is nothing but the default one okay see these are the three different variants and the next thing is so in this right side we are able to see uh, this open and close items it is so it is just act as like a uh, combo box okay so if you don't want this one that also we can remove so for that we have to apply one property in our autocomplete that is free solo see now so this first two components we are able to see this icon but the last one we are unable to see but other functionalities are it will work fine only no issue and similarly we have a lot of properties see like a disabled on select and a clear on escape disable clearance so we can see one or two items so if I'm using this property so if I'm having something once I'm select so the value is there but this content is not closed see so similarly we have the lot of properties if you want to check just to go to the official site of material UI so there in this uh, component said we are able to see this auto complete so here the second example see for all the properties they have included the separate control if you want to check the code just to click this one so if you are using JS extension so we can follow these things in case if you are using the TS code just to follow this area okay so this is all about the concept okay finally let me tell you how to assign values to our auto complete control okay for doing this one let me initiate one use state variable value and value change that is our function use state so if you have some default value we can add it here so let me provide the second on USA and in our autocomplete side so here we can use this value property and just include it so let me say this one 
see in this initial load it is selected as the USA okay so similarly I am going to include one button also assign data and here let me include one on click event assign data so let me define this from and using this value change function so let me set this Singapore see once I'm clicking this see it is changed into Singapore okay so in this button okay so let me refresh the screen once again so initially it is the USA once I'm clicked it is changed into Singapore okay this working fine so in my next video we can see how to work with APA into this auto complete component okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching